We're riding in uh, honor of the fallen heroes from 911. Uh, just satisfaction of everybody coming together and unity. And one of all Americans come together. Something we should never forget. Uh, to support 911, uh, the firefighters, uh, the, the PD, and everybody else that went down that day, and just the remembrance of 911. Uh, it's a very tragic time in our, in our history, but it's a great time to remember how great this nation is. Oh, just the, the freedom, just being on a bike, just the freedom, and the freedom that this country has is just fantastic. I, I think it's a great time for, uh, it just shows you the, the humanity of the people that just we will never forget, and the fact that we are truly Americans, and that we all stand together. No matter what happens, we truly stand together. We wanted to support 9-11. Uh, I saw the, the advertisement in Long Beach at Legends, and um, I didn't know anything about it. I looked it up online, told my wife about it, and it was like, man, we had, we had to come out and represent. We, as a nation, have come together. We have decided that we are stronger than, we are more than a group of people that want to do us harm. I believe that as a result of 9-11, as a nation, we have truly come together. We have truly decided that we are Americans, and no matter what our ethnicity, we will fight as Americans. I think that when 9-11 happened, um, there was a sense of camaraderie, there was a sense of, of uh, support, there was a sense of family, there was a sense of patriotism that everybody kind of took heed to and, and everything was God bless America and we're in this thing together. And then as time goes on, people forget about those types of things and then the next thing you know, everything's back to kind of the way it was. That's how I feel. I think it's a fact of life. I think that, um, especially America, we're, we're very reactive. We're not proactive, we're reactive. We, we love our freedom, and, and with that freedom, we utilize the ability to go where we want to go, when we want to go, how we want to go. So, realistically, um, we could have safer, um, safer airplanes, right? If we wanted to be more like Israel, where it takes a lot to get on a plane, but we think that taking our shoes off and you know, having somebody pat search you down before you get on a plane, we think that's extreme because it violates our freedoms. And the problem is some people utilize our freedoms to, uh, to violate us as Americans. So it's a double-edged sword. Uh, number one is trying to support the 9-11, the memorial, the 10-year memorial. And uh, I just have a real attachment to what happened on 9-11. Uh, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, and I saw those buildings erected as a kid. And uh, seeing the tragedy, seeing that happen live, it just has a real big effect on me. So if this is some small way that I can give back a little something to the families of 9-11, I'm proud and honored to do that.